In 1901, a Greek sponge diver stumbled across a collection of bronze gears at the bottom of the sea near Antikythera. What became known as the Antikythera mechanism turned out to be an incredibly sophisticated 2,000-year-old analog computer. It could predict eclipses, track planets, and even chart the Olympics. Its existence was so shocking that many scientists and historians argued it couldn't possibly be real, not because it was obviously a forgery, but because its level of complexity seemed so utterly alien to anything that had come before it. It turns out, though, that what they found may not have been all that unique after all. Because scattered throughout ancient texts are tantalizing references to other machines like it, Cicero, the Roman philosopher, wrote of a planetary machine made by the great inventor Archimedes. Another was said to have been gifted to Julius Caesar. Could these lost devices be Antikythera's forgotten twins? Well, there are some intriguing clues hidden in plain sight within the gears themselves. The Antikythera mechanism shows signs of being part of a larger tradition, not just in terms of its design, but in the very way it was engineered. Whoever built it was clearly an apprentice of sorts, taking existing technology and iterating on it, refining it, improving it. And they weren't the only one. Other workshops around the Mediterranean also created similar devices, each slightly different from the last, each building on the knowledge of the one before. But if this was a common practice, why have we only found one complete example? Well, it might not be entirely complete. The folks who discovered the Antikythera mechanism in 1901 only brought half of it to the surface. The other half, they say, was purchased by an American collector, albeit one who proved rather untalented at keeping track of his prized possession. In the years since, the whereabouts of the remaining fragments have been a mystery. Still, just because we haven't found the other half of Antikythera doesn't mean we haven't found all of its twins. Scattered throughout the Mediterranean are pieces of fragmented gears, as well as small bronze components that seem almost certainly to have come from similar devices. Until we find more, though, it's hard to say for sure. The truth is, no matter how many of these ancient machines we find or don't find, it points to a deeper truth. Advanced knowledge like this didn't just appear out of nowhere. Whether those devices were ultimately destroyed, buried, or stolen, their existence hints at a forgotten past and a future we may one day reclaim. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.